Eliashib, the high priest, and his fellow priests went to work and rebuilt the Sheep Gate. They dedicated it and set its doors in place, building as far as the Tower of the Hundred, which they dedicated, and as far as the Tower of Hanrahan. The men of Jericho built the adjoining section, and Zachar, son of Imri, built next to them. The fish gate was rebuilt by the sons of Hassaneah. They laid its beams and put its doors and bolts and bars in place. Merimoth, son of Uriah, the son of Hakas, repaired the next section. Next to him, Meshulam, son of Berechiah, the son of Meshezabel, made repairs. And next to him, Zadok, son of Baana, also made repairs. The next section was repaired by the men of Tekoa, but their nobles would not put their shoulders to the work under their supervisors. The Jeshina gate was repaired by Joyeva, son of Kusia, and Meshulam, son of Besudia. They laid its beams and put its doors with their bolts and bars in place. Next to them, repairs were made by men from Gibeon and Mizpah, Militaya of Gibeon, and Jaden of Mirana, places under the authority of the governor of Trans-Euphrates. Uziel, son of Harhei, one of the goldsmiths, repaired the next section, and Hananiah, one of the perfume makers, made repairs next to that. They restored Jerusalem as far as the broad wall. Raphaiah, son of Hur, ruler of a half-district of Jerusalem, repaired the next section. Adjoining this, Judea, son of Harumaf, made repairs opposite his house, and Hattish, son of Hashabniah, made repairs next to him. Melchijah, son of Haram and Hashab, son of Pehath Moab, repaired another section and the Tower of the Ovens. Shalom, son of Halahesh, ruler of a half-district of Jerusalem, repaired the next section with the help of his daughters. The valley gate was repaired by Hanan and the residents of Zenoa. They rebuilt it and put its doors with their bolts and bars in place. They also repaired a thousand cubits of the wall as far as the dung gate. The dung gate was repaired by Malchijah, son of Rechab, ruler of the district of beth -Hakarim. He rebuilt it and put its doors with their bolts and bars in place. The fountain gate was repaired by Shalom, son of Kolhose, ruler of the district of Mizpah. He rebuilt it, roofing it over and putting its doors and bolts and bars in place. He also repaired the wall of the Pool of Siloam by the King's Guard, as far as the steps going down from the city of David. Beyond him, Nehemiah, son of Azbuk, ruler of a half-district of Beth Zur, made repairs up to a point opposite the tombs of David, as far as the artificial pool and the house of the heroes. Next to him, the repairs were made by the Levites, under Rehob, son of Benai. Beside him, Hashabiah, ruler of half the district of Keilah, carried out repairs for his district. Next to him, the repairs were made by their neighbors, under Binuah, son of Hinnadad, ruler of the other half district of Keilah. Next to him, Ezur, son of Jeshur, ruler of Mizpah, repaired another section from a point facing the ascent to the armory as far as the angle of the wall. Next to him, Barak, son of Zabai, zealously repaired another section, from the angle to the entrance of the house of Eliashib, the high priest. Next to him, Merimoth, son of Uriah, the son of Hakaz, repaired another section, from the entrance of Eliashib's house to the end of it. The repairs next to him were made by the priests from the surrounding region. Beyond them, Benjamin and Hashib made repairs in front of their house, and next to them, Azariah, son of Messiah, the son of Ananiah, made repairs beside his house. Next to him, Benuai, son of Hinnadad, repaired another section, from Azariah's house to the angle and the corner. And Pelau, son of Uzai, worked opposite the angle and the tower projecting from the upper palace near the court of the guard. Next to him, Padiah, son of Perash, and the temple servants living on the hill of Ophel, made repairs up to a point opposite the water gate, toward the east and the projecting tower. Next to them, the men of Tekoa repaired another section, from the great projecting tower to the wall of Ophel. Above the horse gate, the priest made repairs, each in front of his own house. Next to them, Zadok, son of Imu, 
made repairs opposite his house. Next to him, Shemaiah, son of Shechaniah, the guard at the east gate, made repairs. Next to him, Hananiah, son of Shelemiah and Hanan, the sixth son of Zalaph, repaired another section. Next to them, Meshulam, son of Berechiah, made repairs opposite his living quarters. Next to him, Malchijah, one of the goldsmiths, made repairs as far as the house of the temple servants and the merchants, opposite the inspection gate, and as far as the room above the corner, and between the room above the corner and the sheep gate, the goldsmiths and...